Hello everyone, this is Chris Veyer, software architect at Mycroft AI. I'm here to show you what to expect when unboxing and setting up your Mark II device, Mycroft's second generation voice assistant. Open the box. First thing you'll see is the screen protector smiling at you and welcoming you. Underneath the screen protector, there is a product information card and a warranty card. Next, we remove the device itself. A few hardware features to point out. The screen is touch capable, um, and we'll show that in a separate video. Uh, we have a volume up and volume down buttons on the top, a mute switch off and on. Uh, the, the camera has a cover on it, it's slideable. Uh, the circular button on the top here is an activation button that also hides the uh, LEDs, as you'll see in a minute. On the back of the device, uh, we exposed uh, as many ports as we as we can. We have a power port there, a serial port. Uh, you can have the ability to connect your device via Ethernet and four USB ports. You'll notice one of the ports contains a small USB drive. This is loaded with the software that runs on the device. A brand new unit will have protectors, uh, plastic transparent protectors over the screen. Uh, I've had my, my device for a while now and those have already been removed. Put that to the side for now. Inside the box, you'll also find a power supply. which also comes complete with a, an array of international plug adapters. And that is everything that is in the box. Okay, now that we have finished the unboxing, it's time to plug the device in and get it set up. Take the power adapter. Plug it into the back of the unit, and then into a power outlet. The initial boot of the device takes a couple of minutes. Um, you'll see a series of Mycroft logos with some blank screens in between. Um, the last logo you will see is an animated logo. After that, we'll go into the setup process um, if your device is already set up after the Mycroft logo, you'll see the home screen. While we wait, it's worth noting that one thing you'll need to complete the setup of a new device is a Mycroft account. If you don't already have one, waiting for your device to boot might be a good time to sign up. I know there's some folks out there that wants a device that works without needing to pair to our servers. We are currently working on this functionality and hope to have it out maybe by the end of the year. We'll see. And you see the LEDs have lit up now on the top. The LEDs are an indicator of what the device is doing. Right now they're just Mycroft blue. I'll set this to the side. Bring my iPad in here. We'll go to mycroft.ai slash pair. This will bring you to our login screen. Um, if you do not have an account, you can create one with a link on the top there. 
Um, you can also log in with your social networks or by email and password. I use my Google account from Mycroft. All right, so the device is ready to set up. First thing we're gonna do is connect the device to your Wi-Fi network. Um, this will allow your device to uh, be paired on our servers and access some capabilities that require the internet. The device will walk you through the setup process, but I will also demonstrate it here. Hi, I'm Mycroft, your new voice assistant. To get started, I need to be connected to the internet. I've created a temporary Wi-Fi network called Mycroft. Connect to it from your phone or computer, then I'll walk you through the rest. Okay, so I'll use my tablet here to connect. Go into your Wi-Fi settings. Um, you'll notice there's a Mycroft network. We'll connect to that. Follow the prompt on your mobile device or computer and choose a Wi-Fi network. Okay, so what you need to do is select the network you want to connect to. And then, of course, enter the password. Okay. Let's see, we've gone back to the status screen here. Your device is using the credentials I just entered to try to access the internet. I'm connected to the internet and need to be activated. Open your browser and visit mycroft.ai slash care to register this device. Okay, we've already gone there in this demo. So here we are on the device configuration page. Um, you will see some preferences pages before this if this is your first device to be set up. Otherwise, you'll be taken directly here. Register this device with the code. The number nine. R as in Romeo. The number seven. W as in whiskey. H as in hotel. W as in whiskey. So the device will repeat to the pairing code once a minute until you have paired it. So we'll take that code, go over here to our Pairing screen, enter the code. You also need to provide a name for your device. It can be something as simple as Mycroft or Mark II. Placement is optional. Uh, this one's gonna go in my kitchen. And then once you are done, Enter the code, the number nine, Oops. R as in Romeo, the number seven, W as in whiskey, H as in hotel, W as in whiskey. Okay, uh, so now the next button here at the bottom will be available to press and you'll get a screen saying your device is ready and some example utterances. And before too long, the screen will show these utterances as well. Um, if you, there's also an activate button down here if you don't want to wait until the next loop. 
Press the activate button. So now it's finishing the pairing process, which is communication. Now I am ready for use. Try asking me things like, hey, Mycroft, what's the weather? Hey, Mycroft, tell me about Abraham Lincoln or hey, Mycroft, play the news. Okay, after a second of this, go to the home screen and there we are. And your device is set up and ready for use. Thank you for watching this Mark II setup video. I hope it's been helpful to install you. Another video will follow that demonstrates the capabilities of the software. Um, thank you for using Mycroft.